Hello fans, viewers, subscribers. It's me, Ruku, for another beer review. Yeah, looking forward to this one. Been meaning to try this again for some time and I finally got my hands on it. Yes. Victory. Um, Golden Drac from um, Belgium. Part of the Van Steenberg Brewery, again. There you go, Golden Drac. This comes in at 10.5. There you go, it's a 3.30. Um, golden dragon, look at that, it's so cool. This isn't a, a, a white bottle, by the way, if anyone's asking. It's actually like a film over it, which is cool. You can see the real colour of the bottle there. Um, golden drac, there's your cap, which bears exactly the same as that. Upon doing a little bit of research on what the hell golden drac is, I found out that. Actually, as I mentioned last time, I thought this was like a, Bel uh, a Belgium, a Viking ship, or named after a Viking ship, and it's actually not. Um, a little bit embarrassing. It's actually the golden statue that sits on top of the Belfry Tower in Ghent in Belgium. So that's why they get the symbol. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. Yeah, looking forward to this. Look at that. I don't know if we're going to get the colour here today. I've, I've got the lights on. We can see this sort of reddy, ambery colour here, like a rose red. Um, it is really like a blood red almost, hints of orange, golden, sappy kind of colour. Yeah, it looks really cool. The head is, is massive, you, you can't, it's thick, foamy. Didn't go well before, it just pow, shot right up. Go on, track. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I can smell this from here. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be a strong, strong beer. Ooh, the smells are really strong. It smells like charcoal, burnt um, wood. Burnt wood? Is that, is that a thing, burnt wood? Quite woody and earthy. Hints of malt, I guess, coming through on the nose a little bit, but a little bit. Yeah, different. Roasted comes to mind. So there you go, Golden Drac. 10.5%. I'm going to move this because my camera does not like this light. You'll notice the lines are going across. Really irritating on my side, especially when you're viewing this as well. Right, cheers, everyone. That is real good. That is class. What do you get is uh, an outstanding well flavour. It's just wow. Alcohol hit straight away, comes in, doesn't mess around. I'm not sure of what flavours I'm getting. Really is a powerhouse full of flavour. Sweet, um, I don't know, sweet flavours in between. But I'm getting a, a burnt, burnt roasted malt almost. Um, essence of coffee. Um, coffee really sits at the back of the throat and it kind of just merges with this burnt malt. Um, they sort of do this relay, it's really nice. Almost look like a sweet, subtle sweetness. Um, a little bit of, I, I, I don't know if that's the hop. Like a, there's a little something there, I'm, I'm going to probably say it's the hop. I've got a little niggling feeling coming on the flavour. I don't know what that is, can't pinpoint what that is. <coughs> Any more? No. One more. It's strong flavoured. Again, coffee with subtle sweetness, roasted malts. 
a really nice sense of like a, a gentle hoppiness as well towards the end. Coat some mouth. I tell you what, I really do like this. This is my kind of beer. It's got full on flavour, good head, good colour and good alcohol strength. The alcohol does burn a little bit, I must admit. You do get it in the mouth and then it just hits you right in the chest as always and the throat warms very nicely. Um, probably best drunk in winter I guess, you know, this is, this is a winter warmer. 10.5%, very good indeed. It's actually quite smooth, I must admit. It's not a, a heavy beer. Very, very sort of smoothish. Uh, there you go, there's the design. Golden Drac. Yeah, very, very smooth. I like it. I really do, so. On with the score. What are we going to give it? Yeah, it's going to be a 9.5. Absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. 9.5. For a 10.5 beer. Hmm. Fantastic all.